Hello, Mr. Nygren here. Uh, welcome to Dragon Ball Z for the Sega Genesis. So it's an old game. It's the only Dragon Ball Z game for the Sega <coughs> console which uh, rivaled the Super NES or Super Nintendo back in the 90s. So the game was released in uh, 1994. I don't remember exactly which month. And it's pretty cool. So music is a bit uh, high or loud. Okay, uh, and the, the text is in French, I believe, or something. Not entirely sure. Okay, so we will uh, watch some battles in this game because it has the CPU vs CPU mode. Um, AI versus AI. And uh, the graphics are pretty decent. <clears throat> so on the Super Nintendo there are three fighting games similar to this one. I believe that this one looks better. It has better graphics. Okay, so we can play the store Historia, which is store mode, and we can play one player versus computer, one player versus two player, or guard, which is like the, the computer versus computer mode or watch mode. We'll take that one. <coughs> The characters in this game, we have Super Saiyan, Son Goku, we have Vegeta, he's not a Super Saiyan, at least not on the picture. <coughs> we have um, Android 18, we have Raccoon, the Ginyu Force, we have Ginyu, Captain Ginyu, leader of the Ginyu Force, we have Kurorin or uh, Krillin, we have Trunks, adult Trunks from the future, we have Son Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. We have Piccolo, and we have Perfect Cell, and we have Freezer or Frieza. Okay. So it makes sense to let um, Raccoon fight Krillin in the first battle. <coughs> so the graphics are 2D sprites. <coughs> so you can change the stage. <coughs> So of course these two will fight on, on Namek. We'll switch stage. Now we are on Namek. We have different music, we can pick two. Alright, uh, we have A to G, okay. <coughs> okay, we will just start the battle. So this game plays exactly like the Super Nintendo game. It has slightly better graphics. <coughs> Krillin vs Raccoon on planet Namek. So yeah, this is uh, like the only fighting game on the Sega in the Dragon Ball Z universe. But um, <coughs> it was released at the same time. The, the Super Nintendo games have been released, so... So I'm from Sweden, and in Sweden, <coughs> I believe Dragon Ball Z wasn't a thing until 2002, when the manga released. So, we never had the Sega game, or the Super Nintendo games, or the NES games. We did get the Game Boy Color game. 2002, I believe. <coughs> so the mu music here might be a bit too loud, unfortunately. I have it on 50% volume, so it should be only half in, in uh, volume, but it might be too high still. <coughs> so I don't know if, if it's possible to hear what I'm saying or not. We will find out later when I upload the video. If, if, if it's too difficult to hear what I'm saying, I will lower it for the next video. Music, I mean. It needs to be lowered outside of the game. So Krillin won the, the battle. It's um, Encore. Change characters. 
Oh, it was uh, restart the battle. Okay, let's watch again then. <coughs> Right, so I, I like how uh, battles in this game look, how fights look in this game <coughs> compared to the first two Betulian games for the SNES. This one looked better, but the third game on the SNES looked similar in graphics. Even though I, I like the art more in this game. I believe the third game on the SNES was based on the Buu Saga, while this game is based on the from, from the start of Dragon Ball Z and until uh, from the Namek saga to the Android saga with Cell well the third game in in the Betrothal uh, series on the SNES where all the way up to the, I believe it was the Buu saga actually it had only Buu saga stuff <coughs> well the first game had uh, the, the Saiyan Saga up until the Namek uh, and the Android Saga. The second game had like uh, movie stuff like the stuff with Bojack and his gang and Broly. And I, I was never a fan of, of the movies so... And the Boo Saga, I, I, of course it's part of the official manga and anime but... I prefer the Android Saga and the Mechian Saga. So that's why I prefer this game over the third game for the SNES. The first game and the second game didn't have CPU vs CPU. I believe that the second game had it, but uh, there is a problem with selecting the, the character for the second player on, on the emulator for the computer. So I'm playing the game here on, on a computer using an emulator, uh, the RetroArc emulator. <coughs> okay, so Krillin won again. Let's finish. Okay, we're back on the menu. Or in the menu. <coughs> Combat guard. Next battle would be Vegeta or uh, no, it would be believe uh, Krillin versus Ginyu. Okay, we will uh, change the stage. Change the music and start the battle. <coughs> so yeah, I wanted to preview some of the older fighting games. I've already played the uh, the, the Budokai games or uh, previewed them for the PlayStation 2 and uh, started with the, the Tenkichi games. <coughs> of course I had an old uh, like walkthrough of the story mode in Budokai Tenkaichi 3 from 2010 but uh, recently I've done the Budokai Tenkaichi game and the Budokai 1, 2 and 3 games. Now I decided to do this one. As I said I've never really played this game because it's for the Sega it was never released in Sweden reason because the Dragon Ball Z franchise never came to Sweden in the 90s <coughs> which is uh, it was weird but I believe uh, they did a pilot but never decided to actually air the show <coughs> probably because there were too much uh, screaming in, in the show and it was too violent I 
believe that the first fighting game in the Dragon Ball Z franchise was for the Super Nintendo. It was similar to this game, used with worse graphics and taking place in the same setting with the, the, the <coughs> Saiyan, Namekian and Android Sagas. Second game has slightly better graphics and we're also for the SNES <coughs> and uh, took place in the movie movies, I believe. And then the third game was the Buu Saga and I believe this game was released in 94 same time as the second game for the SNES. It's uh, slightly older than the third game for the SNES. Okay, Krillin won again. Okay, this is just a preview of the combat in the SEGA title. <coughs> okay, so Vegeta you can fight Frieza. <coughs> no, we will um, Piccolo fight Frieza. Change the stage. And that will do. Yeah, this game was released in Europe because it has like French or something uh, language, but it wasn't released in Sweden. I believe other parts of Europe received uh, Dragon Ball stuff in the 90s. <coughs> Sweden did however receive Sailor Moon in like 95 I believe same year that Dragon Ball should have arrived too probably because Sailor Moon was female centered female centric so it was more okay only the first season was aired none of the others and I believe the second season is more violent than the, the first season. More teenage uh, focused. The first season is focused on uh, elementary school children, I believe. They are in the elementary school in the first season. And in the second season they are high school uh, students. So it's a little bit more violent when it comes to the fights and such. <coughs> Dragon Ball Z, however, is way more violent, um, I believe, than Sailor Moon. But if you compare Sailor Moon to Pokemon and Digimon, um, Sailor Moon is still a lot more violent than Pokemon and, and Digimon. So. Piccolo one against Frieza there. <coughs> I believe there have been like Dragon Ball games all the way since um, 1986. First games to release for the, SNE for the NES or Nintendo 8-bit system. And then, then there were ga uh, games for the SNES, Super Nintendo and games for the Sega Genesis but and some other systems I believe the PC Engine anyway 
<coughs> the, the NES games never arrived outside Japan, I think. But have received like English translations in like 27 and, and, and such. I believe uh, they were translated in ROMs, so... I, I will pause the game. Alright, so I lowered the sound. It was too high. <coughs> so I should have probably... <coughs> Uh, taken a drink or something before starting this recording because I feel very <coughs> very uh, yeah I, I'm a bit tired too as you can probably hear because I've been up most of the night but anyway <coughs> I feel um, my throat is a little bit dry okay let's take Vegeta and um, pit him against Frieza. He's not Super Saiyan with Gita here. Change the stage. Namek. Okay, that will have to do. Fuck, I changed too much. Let's play the second stage of Namek then. <coughs> Ah, I changed into Super Saiyan, that wasn't intended. That will have to do. This is a Sega Genesis game. <coughs> the graphics are slightly worse than the Dragon Hyper Dragon Ball Z game made by fans for the Mugen Engine. An engine from 1999. Okay. <sighs> so yeah, they they are a bit outdated, but they look better than the first Turing game. For the SNES and the second one, they're probably similar as the third game, or slightly worse actually. surprised to find the CPU vs CPU mode or watch mode in this game and in the third game for the SNES. So we'll probably take a look at the third game too for the Super Nintendo. Cannon. Oh, he countered with his own beam. Attacked with Eta and with Eta got beaten. So yeah, it has some cool beams and such. And you you can fly up in the air and the screen like changes and such. Okay. Okay, we could click there to return to the character select screen. Okay, uh, we will pick Son Goku, Super Saiyan Goku versus Frieza. On the same stage, and the same song, so we can start immediately.
yeah, the game looks great for a Sega Genesis game. It's a good rival to the Super Nintendo titles, and they look better than the NES titles. But the NES titles, they aren't fighting games. They were actually, <coughs> they were actually role-playing games and uh, platformers. And uh, I almost want to play one of the role-playing games, but I couldn't get a English translation of the the game. Found the hack. Um, that translates all the, the, the NES games to English, but couldn't get the actual game. The, the hack site only allowed us to, to download the, the, ha the hack um, that you need to apply to the game separately. So you need to download the, the Japanese game or ROM and then uh, patch it with the hack. And uh, I didn't bother doing that. This game, I believe, I got the French uh, ROM or something. The Sega. Okay, so Goku won against Frieza, which is lower accurate. Okay, then we will have Trunks fight against um, <coughs> Android 18. They will fight on a different stage. So in the third game for the SNES we have Android 18 too, but she has a different look. I prefer this look, of course. She has her pants and stuff in the in the SNES game. In the first game she looked like this, but the graphics were way worse, so she looks better in this game. Okay, we will uh, change the stage. Need a city battle. <coughs> This is the game, uh, the stage I mean, where she would fight Vegeta. We don't want her to fight Trunks there. Unless we have no choice. Uh, we will probably take this stage. Yeah. Change the music and play the battle. <coughs> So yeah, I like the sprites. They aren't quite as beautiful as the Hyper Dragon Ball Z sprites, but they look great for their time. The game was from 1994, so an old game. Same year as uh, Final Fantasy VI was released. It's a fighting game from 1994. Looking good for its time. Dragon Ball manga, I believe, arrived already in Japan in 1984. <coughs> and I uh, believe the, the anime started. I don't remember if it was 1986, maybe. Anyway, <coughs> uh, I believe Dragon Ball Z started the anime in 1989, same year that I was born. And arrived in, uh, in the States in. 1990 something <coughs> but it took all the way until 2002 until the manga came to Sweden and I believe the, the game started to arrive that year as well so we got the Budokai game I believe as the first Dragon Ball game in Sweden the Budokai uh, 1 game for the Playstation 2 <coughs> so we missed out on the earlier games for the Playstation 1 for the Sega for the, for the um, Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo. We did, however, get the, the Game Boy Color game because it released in 2002. There was a Game Boy Color game set in the Dragon Ball Z franchise released in 2002. A role-playing game for the Game Boy Color. It's actually really nice looking for a Game Boy Color game. You can unlock and play as most characters of the story, even villains and level them up and such. The 
it's, it's a cool game. We, we will play it on the channel too. I actually bought that game in the store in 2019 or 2015, I don't remember. I think it was 2019, could be 2015. Uh, it was sold when the store was, um, like, I believe the store was closing down. I believe it was the game uh, that it, it closed down and sold all the games very cheap. And I still have the game and it's unopened. Uh, I don't want to open it, it might become valuable with time. But I, I uh, have the game bought and paid for. Okay, <coughs> let's change characters. We will take Android 18 versus Vegeta. We will change the stage. Day to day we're fighting this stage the road and they will have different music and uh, we will start the battle now it's more accurate with Vegeta going Super Saiyan against Android 18 see so in the manga Android 18 would win same in the anime but uh, in the game she might lose, we'll see. <coughs> so yeah, <coughs> I used to enjoy, you know, watching fights like this. I have no problem uploading CPU vs CPU fights. Most of them will not have my voice because it's not necessary unless I play. But in this case I wanted to speak. Unfortunately I have been awake a bit so I'm a bit tired but I, I also slept a lot during the day I believe yesterday and the evening so I try to, to be awake until tonight. So I will be properly tired when the night com comes. Yeah, it does affect my ability to speak in English negatively when I'm tired. Okay. <coughs> Usually my, my vocabulary will be worse. And I will be less able to, to utter the words correctly. <coughs> still wanted to do some more videos, it's been like 9 days since the last video where I uploaded the last episode of Valkyria Chronicles for the computer, for Steam, it's a Playstation 3 game from 2008, remastered for the Playstation 4 and the computer, 2014 I believe. I wanted to do some more fighting games and I decided to do this before jumping on to Tenkaichi 3 and 2. So the next game in the Dragon Ball franchise will probably be the Super Nintendo game, third game. And after that, maybe the PlayStation 1 game that I actually did, bought, did buy in uh, 21 or 22, or if it was 23, I don't remember. Same year I bought Air Gaze, I believe. Imported a Dragon Ball game too. I believe Dragon Ball Z Legendary Super Saiyan. Okay. <coughs> so the next fighter, the Go and Cell. Okay. Could take Goku versus Cell. I don't believe we had a cell arena. We'll check every stage. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have the cell stage. <coughs> we could take this one. 
and fight the battle. Cell did fight in this area too. This area where he fought Piccolo and Android 17 and Android 16 as his imperfect form and and um, I believe uh, first form. <coughs> it's also very evolved into perfect cell and uh, defeated like Vegeta and uh, Super Saiyan 2. No. I believe Super Trunks and Super Vegeta were defeated here. Oh yes. So there is one Dragon Ball game that look better than this, I believe. Um, I believe it's uh, Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension for the Super Nintendo. The, the latest one released in... Uh, the latest Dragon Ball game for the Super Nintendo released in 96. It looks really good. It's set in the Buu Saga. I believe it goes from the start of the Namekian Saga and until the Buu Saga. It doesn't have the... Uh, it doesn't have that many characters, unfortunately, but it, it looks really well. It, it has great sprites. But it doesn't have the CPU vs CPU mode. <coughs> okay. Go on. Let's take Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Some Gohan. Against Cell. And change the music. And stage will be changed. And take the, the tournament stage and stop the battle. So this will be the final battle. Of this video, <coughs> Super Saiyan 2 Go Son Gohan versus Perfect Cell. The tournament arena. Budokai Arena New music <coughs> So yeah, this is I believe this game is named Dragon Ball Z mm, Toden. I believe could be wrong Didn't pay enough att attention before starting the game Yeah, it's a decent fighter. Good for its time. Good 2D fighter. Oh, Cell is doing a, I believe the, the Piccolo attack. Is that a sp special beam cannon? I don't know. Do not say their attacks in this game. In later games they say things like, Kamameha or special beam cannon. Uh, I believe that was the special beam cannon. Because Perfect Cell has some of Piccolo's attacks. Some of Goku's attacks and such. Just the cells of uh, different characters. 
So, Super Saiyan 2 is on go and won. Let's finish this. Okay. You can try story mode. Let's go to options. Nothing to do there, okay. Let's go to his story. And uh, let's pick Android 18. story unfortunately it is in uh, I believe French so I don't really understand the, the text <coughs> so we'll just take a look at store mode play a bit in it we have text and we have a nice background character Okay, we have like a portrait, the character, character portrait, and some text. Just wish it was in English. Uh, okay, Android 18 will face off against Krillin in the first battle. In the future, they will become a couple. Here, they will fight Krillin in French, Krillin in English. Gurren in Swedish. Okay. I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller connected to the computer when playing. I don't know the difficult level. I couldn't lower it. It's probably pretty high. I think the, the controllers are alright. I like this game's controllers better than the Super Nintendo one. At least they are better than the first Super Nintendo game that I played a bit in previously. I just think this game has better moves. But I'm no expert, I've hardly played it. So I'm just trying out some buttons. So I move up and down on circle. I use the directional buttons to move. But I don't know how to move fast. I jump on triangle. Kick on X. I can also charge. I don't exactly know how I did it. Should be possible to move forward fast too. Could do that in the SNES title. But in this title, I don't know if all the buttons are correctly configured. I can't do anything with the rotational analog sticks. Oh, I could uh, throw him. Yeah, but the game looked good. For a Sega title. I believe when I click both um, square and uh, X, I charge. So Krillin won the first round. We'll try again. <coughs> yep, we'll try again. All right, start the fight. The first uh, title for the Super Nintendo or SNES has the same characters pretty much and the same uh, story but uh, worse graphics. They look really bad there or outdated but the game is I believe from 93 or something. Or 92. I believe 93 so it's at least one year older than this one. So Android 18 isn't supposed to be able to charge like this 
in, in the manga she couldn't do that same in the anime because she's an android or cyborg which is pretty much a robot with uh, human skin similar to like uh, the terminator <coughs> and um, they can't charge energy they were instead created by Dr. Jero and they're still uh, stronger than the, the sea fighters in the android uh, sagas but yeah they shouldn't have energy some games have given them that is a mistake they should be able to charge but they shouldn't have visible energy when they charge they are different from other characters in that sense <coughs> because robots do not have energy at least not visible energy oh I did a jump there and threw a beam at him while jumping over him. I no idea how I did it though. Okay. <coughs> he might win again. I wasn't very good at this game. Yeah, I, I like how the sprites look. Uh, okay, Krillin won. We've seen what the story mode is like. So you fight fights like this, and then you get some text, portraits and such. <coughs> we have 10 seconds to continue, otherwise we'll get game over. <coughs> okay. King Kai there, the blue character, and Kid Gohan. Okay, thank you for watching.